Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today I want to show you the clipboard manager that I use and I think it's a game changer for web development because of one really cool feature. But before we get to that, let me just show you where to get it. So you can go here to tapbots.com slash pastebot. I'll add that in the description and it shows you kind of the basic stuff that it does and then you can buy it here and it shows you it's just 13 bucks on the app store or you can buy it directly which is what I would recommend doing just so you the developer gets as much of that money as he can. All right, and uh, what it does is fairly basic, but I'll go ahead and pull up a couple things you may want to pay attention to. First of all, it's got the last 485 things that I've copied, and then it's got some pasteboards and some filters. Before I show you all that, let's go ahead and jump into the preferences. So I'll come up here, and you've got general preferences here. This shows you can limit the size of clippings, show how many you want to keep, I always paste in plain text, so I don't have to worry about weird formatting. And uh, this iCloud sync has been rock solid for me. Uh, next, I always hide the dock icon. I don't need to see that in my dock. I hide everything I can like that. And then um, I'll come over to the shortcuts. There's not too much to pay attention to other than this um, open filter window is what I'm gonna show you next, which will allow you to access these filters really quickly. Also the show clipboard rather than command V, it's uh, command shift V and then we'll open those. So let me show you how that works. So if I come in here and let's say I first of all just say command shift V It'll show me the last things that I've copied and the first uh, Let's see first nine well ten because the tenth is zero You can just hit a keyboard shortcut and it'll automatically paste it I could also though come in here and start just immediately searching for something so like D So I just start typing and it searches and it's pretty quick to find let's say I was looking for some color I used most recently. Well, there it is so that's really nice, um, but um, that's not all. If I copy this section here, remember I have all those filters. Some of them are just like text filters. I've mapped my open filter to caps lock F, which basically is a little hyper key that will press down for me, shift, control, option, and command. So if I do that, it'll open up the filter and here I can do a bunch of things. I could wrap it in a paragraph tag just by hitting return or clicking paste. It'll wrap everything in a paragraph tag. The other thing I can do is I can come in here and I can open this up and say like convert it to dumb quotes or plain text or uppercase the whole thing or lowercase the whole thing. So that's nice for some quick uh, things. And again, you can search the filters if you've got a bunch of them set up. I can also come in here and like decode the URL or create a list out of it. I can encode the URL. So there's some cool things and you can add your own here. I don't use all this a ton because the killer feature is what's called sequential paste. And that's what I want to show you next. Okay, so I've got a little site up open over here that's been designed and I need to go ahead and add all of this. Well, normally you're coming here and copying and then you're pasting, then you're copying, then you're pasting. Well, no longer because sequential paste will allow you to copy a bunch of things in a row and then paste them in the same order you copied them. So I'll hit Command, Control, and C to pull up this little sequential paste palette. And then I'll just come in here and copy all of these things one after the other. I'll move this over here and grab this. And then let's go ahead and grab some of these as well. And we'll start building this out. Now, now that I've got all those copied, if I come up here to one, that will be the first thing on my sequential paste board. And now I'll come in here and using Emmet, and this sequential pasteboard, you can really quickly fill in a website with content from a designer. So I might come in here and say like nav, and inside this nav, I want to have a UL. Inside the UL, I want to have an LI. And then with these little brackets here, now I can paste in the actual text that'll be inside that LI tag. And I can hit Command, Control, and V to paste the first thing off that sequential pasteboard. You see, it just pops in like that. Now, using plus, with Emmett here, I can now say I want another LI, paste that in, another plus, paste that in, and I can expand it, and that's it. Oh, and I forgot to do one final LI here. So LI and LI. So you can see how very quickly you can just sequentially paste those things in. Now it becomes even quicker when you're not worrying about all the LIs and all that kind of stuff. So let's say we've got a container div for this next section, and it's got two divs um, right next to each other. All right, this first div then, I'm going to have, uh, let's have an H1 first of all. And again, I'm just going to sequentially paste and then expand that out. All right, next I might have an H2. And again, I'll just sequentially paste the next kind of thing here that 
your kind of piano teacher. And then I can come in here and I'll have a paragraph. And that again, I can just sequentially paste and expand out and it's a paragraph already. So you can see how very quickly you can come in here and just start adding stuff sequentially after you've pasted it. And you don't have to keep going back and forth. Maybe in this other div, I'm gonna have uh, an image. And then since I don't have an image yet on my clipboard, obviously, uh, I can come in here and the next thing I have is a little button. So again, I can have a button here that says I'm interested in connecting and just expand that. And then I can come down the, to the next section here. And this, maybe I would call this uh, section of teaching uh, goals and then expand this out. And I'm gonna have a few things. The first of which is a little H3 maybe. And that would be the next thing on my clipboard. And I just expand that out. And then I'll have an H2 and I'll add the next thing on my clipboard and expand that out. And then finally I'll have a paragraph and I'll add the next thing on my clipboard and expand that out. You see how quickly just by sequentially pasting, you can really quickly fill in a website. And if I save it, you see it pops out all over here. One after the other, it looks like I forgot to expand one thing somewhere. There we go. All right, so very quickly it just pops all out here exactly as it was on the page. And then I can style it pretty quickly with CSS. So this sequential pasteboard has saved me so many times and it's great because it just keeps everything in order. You can just go one after the other and because I have everything pasting as plain text, it is uh, it works great with the code editors that I'm working with. Well, I hope that's helpful for you. I'll leave a link in the description. This obviously is not sponsored or anything. I'm not, a, I'm not big enough to get sponsored for anything, uh, but I just love this clipboard manager. And that sequential paste is the magic feature that makes web development so much easier when you're building sites and stuff like that. All right, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.